These are the calculations to, to work out the molar heat of combustion of methanol. So we had a little methanol burner here, had a tin can which had 100 grams of water, and then we had a thermometer in taking the temperature change, temperature of the water. So we had a mass change of 0.75 grams, so that means there was a 0.75 gram change between the mass of this before we started the experiment and after, and we had a temperature change in the water of 11.5 degrees. So we did the calculation with the water. We've got C equals 4.18, we've got a mass of 100 grams, and we have a change in temperature, delta T, of 11.5 degrees centigrade. We use delta H equals MC delta T, so we've got 100, which is the mass, times 4.18, which is the heat capacity of water, which is our capital C, we've got a delta T, which is 11.5 degrees. So we get 4,807 joules, which works out at 4.807 kilojoules. So we can say that 0.7 grams of methanol, so that's our mass change of methanol, 0.7 grams of methanol gave off 4.807 kilojoules, because that's the amount of energy that was used to heat up the water in the, in the tin can. We can then say that one gram of methanol would give off 4.807 divided by 0.75. So all we've done is divide that by 0.75 and that by 0.75. So we're working out the energy per gram, and that's 6.4093 repeater kilojoules. And we know that the molar mass of methanol is 32.042 grams. We can therefore say that 32.042 grams of methanol gives off 32.042 times 64.4093. Now that's the amount of energy from one gram. So we want to work out the energy for 32 grams. We just times that by, times that and we get 205.37 kilojoules. We can then say the molar heat of combustion of methanol equals 205.37 kilojoules per mole.